Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today by request, we're going to be doing this E8 unit. And this is in the Illinois Central Colors, used for pulling the City of New Orleans passenger train. So let's get right into it here. As usual, I'll be building it on the front of the train I already have. And the first step is to take a dark oak stair to be the coupler and get it attached up. Underneath that, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate for an air hose. Then we'll come on the locomotive behind it, delete the fence gates on either side, and replace them with dark oak fences and extend them out so all the cabling looks connected. Then we're going to take three polished black stone blocks coming across the middle here because this is going to be the rear end of the locomotive. Then on the next block down, we're going to put a block of netherite down on the rail to be the first wheel. Then we're going to skip forward and put another netherite with two blocks of space between it. And then the same thing again, another netherite with two blocks of space between it. Put end rods for axles and then get netherite over here on the other rail. Then we're going to take out deep slate brick stairs, a row of five upside down facing this way here. Then spin around and a row of five upside down facing this way over here. And we'll repeat that same pattern on this side, so five upside down facing this way here. And then spin around and five upside down facing this way on this side. So your pattern should look like that from the side. Then we're going to come on top and we'll fill in this top middle three above the truck with polished black stone block. We'll stop at the end of the truck for now. Then we're going to take a dark oak fence gate and we're going to open it into the ends of the wheels here. And we'll swing down to the back here and open it into the end of this wheel and open it into the end of the wheel on this side. Then we'll come back down to the end of this here and we're going to spin around and add another row of three polished black stone blocks on top. Then we're going to stand on that here. Then we're going to crouch and we're going to put a row of five sideways anvils across the bottom to be an air tank. Now we're going to swing back around on top of those anvils and put another two rows of three polished black stone blocks on the top here. Then we're going to switch and we're going to take out a polished black stone stair. And we're going to have to come underneath where it's overhanging here. And we have to get them upside down and facing to the rear end of the locomotive. So we got to turn that way and get it upside down coming across there. It's kind of tricky to do. I accidentally opened the anvil there, but just get three of them coming across like that. Now we're going to take polished black stone blocks and extend a row out down the rails here, ten blocks long, and we'll come across here and fill in the other side. Then, once we have that, we're going to switch back over to polished blackstone stairs. And starting right here on the outside of it, we're going to put a row of upside down outward facing stairs. Same thing on this side, starting right there, come forward with a row of upside down stairs. Then we'll go ahead and fill in this top middle three coming down this field tank. Then on the end of this, two rows of three polished black stone wall. Then in front of that, back to polished black stone block that's three wide, and we're going to make it four blocks long. Fill in the top as well. Then on the sides, upside down outward facing stairs on bottom. It's same thing over here. Then 
Then on the end, three facing forward in the middle and three more blocks on top of it. Then we'll come stand on the end of this, crouch, and put a row of five anvils coming across the bottom of the rails for the second air tank. And then we can go ahead and fill in above it with three polished black stone blocks. Then we'll do our next set of wheels. So skip a block back from this and get a netherite on the rail. Then we'll get another one with a two block gap of space and a third one with a two block gap of space. Put on end rods for axles and netherite over on the other rail here. Then switch to deep slate brick stairs and a row of five upside down facing this way here. Spin around five upside down facing this way here and spin back around five facing this way here and five facing this way here then we're going to take a dark oak fence gate open it into the ends of the wheels here and open it into the ends of the wheels down here Then we're going to go back to polished black stone blocks on top and continue filling in this top middle three down the length of this truck. Come out to above where the fence gates are. Then one more row of three. Then we're going to take a polished black stone stair, spin around, and put it upside down facing this way on each side. Then in front of this here, we're going to make a two by three of polished black stone blocks in the middle. So it comes down one and out one on each side and it's too high. On bottom, a right side up stair here and here and an upside down stair above them. So it looks like that. Then three right side up stairs across the front bottom in the middle and upside down on either side with a polished black stone block in the middle. Then take a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and get it stacked up to this top block. Delete the ones you use for placement. Underneath it, we'll put a dark oak fence gate for an airline. Then on either side, open a dark oak fence gate into the plow here. Now come on top of this with an oak stair and we're going to put three oak stairs coming across the top middle here and kitty corner on each side all facing forward like this then three oak wood planks across this middle and then one on each outside corner and then an upside down oak stair on each side facing backwards like that then we're going to start right in front of here with polished black stone block and fill in this top middle three going all the way to the other end of the locomotive Now we're going to come on the sides of the truck with a deep slate brick slab and we're going to extend a row of slabs on top going from the front wheel to the back. Same thing on this truck, so a row of slabs here, then we'll do the other side. A row of slabs going from the back wheel to the front wheel here, and a row of slabs coming across the top of this truck. Then we're going to take out a grindstone, and everywhere there's a wheel, we're going to hang an upside down grindstone in front of it. Same thing on this truck. Then we got to do the other side. Upside down grindstone in front of all three of these wheels. And one more corner to go here. An upside down grindstone in front of all three of these wheels. Now we're going to place our bell, and this may not be accurate to the prototype. In all the photos and videos I watched, I could not tell where the bell was on this. But I know a lot of these E units had the bell behind the plow, so I'm going to put it there. So we're going to come around on the engineer side and put the bell down there. Now we're going to swing down to the back of this fuel tank here. We're going to take a polished black stone stair on the second block up and put it right here facing backwards. 
And then same thing up here, right here facing forward, upside down. So it should look like this. Then we're going to fill in this whole second row with polished black stone blocks until we come to the middle. This very middle block, we're going to put a player head for the field cap. And we'll do the same thing here. And then we'll go ahead and fill this in with polished black stone block on the front and back. Then we'll put an upside down stair facing forward here and facing backwards here. Then next to this player head, we'll put a crimson sign on one side and a crimson button on the other side. Do the same thing over here. A sign on one side and a button on the other. Now we're gonna take an oak wood slab and on this very top edge, start here and bring it all the way down to the back of the locomotive and do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll start working on the car body of the locomotive. So we're gonna come on this front middle and on this first block, we're gonna put a green concrete in the middle and orange terracotta on either side. Then kitty corner back one, orange terracotta on the outside edges. Then we're gonna extend our orange terracotta all the way down to the back of the locomotive on each side. We stop one block before the end here. Then we'll come back up to the front. On this next layer, we put orange terracotta in the middle and then brown terracotta on each side. And then we're gonna extend brown terracotta down each side, stopping one block before the end again. Then up here, another brown terracotta on each side of the nose and another orange terracotta. Then one kitty corner and go ahead and fill in across here with brown terracotta. Then we'll come behind it again and we'll put another full row of five brown terracotta here. And then one coming off on each side behind it. Then we're gonna knock out this block and this block on both sides and replace them with forward facing dark oak stairs. So the nose has a little bit more curviness to it. Then we'll take light blue stained glass across the front, brown in the middle, two more on this side. Then behind this, we're going to extend our brown terracotta out another three blocks on each side. And then three light blue stained glass blocks above that on each side. Then we'll skip one block back and put a brown terracotta on each side like that. Then we'll add one more brown terracotta behind each of those and a light blue stained glass pane. As the locomotive has these side windows. Then behind that, we're gonna put five terracotta. Same thing over here. Then another window. And then five terracotta again. And then another window. And then five terracotta again on each side. Then another window. And then brown terracotta down to the back here. Same thing on this side. Above this layer, the locomotive has these vents running the length of the locomotive. And in order to give it a little bit of a 3D look here, I'm using cobbled deep slate walls. And we're gonna start behind that door gap and we're gonna run it all the way down to the back here. Stopping right there where we've been stopping. We'll do the same thing over here. Start back here and run a wall all the way up this side. And just keep it coming. And stop right here where we left this door gap. Now we're going to come down to the rear end with a dark oak stair. And on these outside edges, we're going to put a column of upside down, backward facing dark oak stairs. Same thing over on this side. Then, 
we're gonna switch back to brown terracotta here. And there's actually a door on the back of this. So here, we're gonna put a column of two on each side, leaving the middle open for a door, and then fill in this top with brown terracotta. Then we're gonna take polished black stone wall and come up around the door like that. Next, we're gonna come back up to the front here and we're gonna switch back to our dark oak stairs. And starting right here on the outside edge, above the windows, we're gonna run a line of outward facing, right side up, dark oak stairs, down the length of the locomotive. And we'll do that on both sides. When we get up here, we're gonna turn so it wraps around the front like that. Now we're gonna switch back to brown terracotta. And we're gonna fill in this middle three of the roof, going from end to end. Now on the front top, aligned with that first porthole window there, we're gonna put three dark oak slabs coming across and make that into a three by three going back here. Then one on each side and a deep slate tile slab in the middle to be a screen. Then we're gonna skip one block back behind that in the middle and make a plus shape for a fan and a second one. Knock out the middles of them, put in polished blackstone and then trap doors in the center. Then we're gonna take a smoker for the exhaust stack and put it right here in the middle. Skip a block behind that and three nether brick walls coming across with three oak trap doors on top. Then we're gonna mirror this. Skip a block and an exhaust. Then we're gonna make two plus shapes with dark oak slabs, knock out the middles, put in polished blackstone, and then trap doors on top for the fans. Then we'll skip a block, deep slate tile slab in the middle, surround that with dark oak slabs and then make a three by three behind it. This thing actually has two prime movers, so that's why there's two sets of fans and exhausts. Then we're gonna take a flower pot, put it in that back corner, and in this front corner, a lightning rod. We'll surround everything else with an acacia trap door. And actually, I'm gonna move that flower pot forward by one, and then fill the back with trap doors. Next, we're gonna come up to these side doors because we have to build the ladders to get up. So in this gap under the door here, we're gonna knock out these two blocks and the slab underneath it. Go ahead and do the same thing on this other side. Then right here, an upside down dark oak stair, an upside down acacia stair, and then a right side up polished blackstone stair. So there's like ladders. Do the same thing on this side. So a right side up, polished blackstone on bottom, upside down acacia, then upside down dark oak. Then we can go ahead and put a dark oak door there, and same thing on the other side. Then we'll also swing down to the rear end here, and put a door in this middle gap right here. Now we're gonna come to the front of the locomotive, on the outside edge on the brown terracotta, with a dark oak sign for our number plate. The number is 515. Put another one on the other side with 515. Then we're gonna hit it with white dye, and then we're gonna hit it with a glow ink sack. And just like that, our number plates are actually lit up. Then we're gonna put two glow item frames here with glowstone in them for the front headlights. Then we'll come down and work on this back here. So in this top middle, we're gonna put a glow item frame and glowstone for a rear headlight and another one below it. And because we now have the glow ink sack, I'm gonna test out something new for rear marker lights. On this top left, I'm gonna put a dark oak sign and I'm just gonna type in Two brackets facing this way and two brackets facing the other way and I'll put another one on the other side same thing 
two brackets facing this way, two brackets facing this way. Then I'm going to hit it with red ink and then a glow ink sack. And now those brackets are lighting up red so it kind of looks like the marker lights are lit. Now we'll come up by these front doors with iron bars to be our grab irons. And we'll put a column of iron bars coming down on each side and we'll extend it down one so each column is four blocks tall. Then we're going to take a dark oak fence gate right here in this back corner and open a dark oak fence gate right there because there's like a little step to climb up right there. Same thing on this side, open a dark oak fence gate right here. Then we'll come back up to this front door and we'll put a column of four iron bars on each side to be the grab irons. Now we'll swing around on top of the cab because we have to add in our horn. So take out a dark oak fence gate in the middle and we're going to open dark oak fence gates back to back right here to be the horn. Now we'll do the interior. So come on in through this cab door here and we're going to take prismarine brick slabs and we're going to fill in at the level of the door so there's a floor across this whole cab. Up here, we'll stack it up so it covers underneath the windows. Then we'll put a smooth stone in the middle for a control stand, a lever here and here, then a glow item frame, and a compass so there's a gauge. Then we'll turn around here and put in some stairs to be seats. Come back behind here and extend this out one more row of slabs. Next, we're going to take out a blast furnace, put it in the middle here, and above that, a glowstone to light up the cap. Then we're going to come around behind here with a door. Use whatever door looks best to you. That placement's wrong. We got to get the door on the back of this slab here. Then we're going to take a polish andesite block in this middle, and we're going to start stacking up a row of it, four long, coming up to the ceiling, except this very back one we'll put glowstone. Then we'll take polish andesite stairs and we'll stack up a little staircase here. Same thing on this side. Then we'll put doors across this and then polish andesite blocks above it to fill it in. Now we'll build the prime mover. So off this middle block on bottom, we're gonna put a row of nine anvils that are all facing sideways like this. Then we're going to have to crouch above it and we're going to put a row of cauldrons coming back across the top of the anvils. You'll have to hop down on the ground and crouch again to place the last one. Then we'll come up on top with netherite and where these two polished black stones are, put netherite under it. And then we're going to fill in the rest of the top of this prime mover with netherite here. Bring it right down to the end. Then we're going to take a wither skeleton skull and put one coming down the side of this netherite row. We'll do the same thing on this side. A full row of wither skeleton skulls up here. And actually this prime mover is too long, so we're going to knock out this first column of it so it's only 8 blocks long. Get rid of the wither skulls too. Then we're going to take a lightning rod and we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and another one right above it to be like drive shafts. Then we'll build a 2x2 two two of smooth stone blocks. Then a polish andesite stair facing this way and a brewing stand above it for the generator. Then like I said this has two prime movers so we have to build another one. So we're going to skip a block and run a row of eight anvils. Then we got to come on top and crouch, run a row of eight cauldrons above that. We'll have to hop down here to do the last one. Then we'll come up top here with a block of netherite. We'll start filling in netherite down the top of it. Then we have to line up with these two black stone slabs up there 
another right up there. Then we're gonna take our wither skeleton skull back out here to get that detail on this front over. And on the sides of the netherite, run a wither skeleton skull all the way down the side. Same thing over on this side. Then we're gonna put two sideways lightning rods on the end of it, then a two by two of smooth stone. Then a polished andesite stair on the back and a brewing stand above it. Then we'll put another brewing stand so it goes up to the ceiling there. Then we're gonna take out a stone brick wall, put one here, and then wrap it like that so there's like some piping. Do the same thing up there. Then we're gonna put a torch up in this top middle here to light the back end. On this side, we're gonna close a trap door to be the handbrake wheel. Then in this corner, an end portal for the locomotive toilet. And now we've completed both prime movers and generators and our whole engine compartment is completed here. And there we have it folks. We've completed this Illinois Central City of New Orleans E8 locomotive. And this is the first time I built an E unit and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. And I'd like to thank all of you who watch these videos and especially those of you who are subscribing and making the channel grow. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.